Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you a fun car to send out to family or friends, wishing them a happy and safe travels. Um, this was a fun car to make, simple, easy to make, and um, doesn't take that much time. And I used a beautiful paper from Moda Scrap, uh, Enjoy the Journey collection. So you see all those words on here, and I used the Enjoy from that uh, paper here in the background. And um, so let me show you the products that we used. So this beautiful paper pack, we have that in 12x12 12 12 and 6x6, six six. enjoy the journey. I'm going to flick through it quickly, but um, you see, so it's a beautiful, beautiful paper pack. I think I skipped one or two, but you have that one, and then you have a label, the labels here, and I'm going to use that one in um, the inside of the card at the end. So we use that one. And then we use the uh, blackboard alphabets, and that's a beautiful uh, alphabet. I love it. It's kind of funky, and um, I will turn it around so you can see how large they are. Like they're one inch and a quarter high, so you can really play with those letters. And then we also have the blackboard numbers. I don't use those, but they match the letters. You see, so they're also one and a quarter inch high. So we use that one, and then I also used one of my all-time favorites, of course, the stitched rectangles. So let me put this away and then we're going to work on the card. So um, this is my glitter tray. I'm using the champagne gold uh, today. I put a little bit in my coffee filter and of course I have my uh, lid from a box here, my brush and here on, at the bottom the Swiffers. So what I did, I cut the Enjoy out of uh, white cardstock with our clear double sided adhesive on top. And um, so I need to explain. So one side of the double sided adhesive I use to put on the cardstock and the other side I'm going to use to glitter. Because a lot of times when I do things like this, people try to pull off the back and um, like they think there's adhesive on the back, but I'm using two sides already because one side of the double sided adhesive is on the cardstock and the other side is for the glitter. So I'm just I'm going to glitter them first all and then I'm going to polish or burnish those. And of course no need to say that those stencils or the letters, the backing that comes off will be great stencils for the word enjoy in another project. I'll just kind of scoop it in here, make sure it's all covered. See, I still have some ink on my finger from another project. It's when you craft, you never have clean, clean hands, which is good. Where did it go? Yeah. Then I can put this back into the jar. Of course, can't do it without coffee filters. And then we're going to polish the letters, and in this case I just rub it with my fingers. And you can clearly see that it's getting more sparkly. See when you polish it or burnish it. My last one. I'm going to put this aside for a second because then I'm going to put the card together. So and um, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to edge the card a little bit with the uh, tea dye because it's kind of so it's a little bit different than the cardstock I use, but it's kind of nice because it brings back the color from the paper. That's that. And then I uh, cut these two out of the uh, paper pack. So I use the stitched uh, rectangles for that. And I'm going to use some 3D adhesive on there. Or foam tape. I still have the scissor here with the red handle, but I know they come now with the black handle. They changed it. Put it 
it up straight. There we go. So that's one layer. And then with this I'm going to do the same. Also the foam tape. And those letters, because the size are, is so, it's not too large, you can actually make a, a lot of different words on your card. And this is just an A2 size card, so if you do a card that's 5 by 7 you can do a happy birthday on there, or really nice. Like that. That's that, and then we're going to bring in the letters. So in this case I need to uh, put some, uh, use some regular glue and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our kids glue, put a little bit on my hand and then you spread it a little bit. I'm going to take my tweezer and I'm just going to dip them in there. And you start with the last letter, if you want to kind of end on the edge you kind of start on with the last one because then you always know that you're good. And of course you can put it in the middle, you can put it in an angle, however you like to do it, of course. There you go. And then I th we're going to put a little label in the center. And this, this glue is, by the way, is, it's water-based, so I can easily uh, take it off my hands so it doesn't do any to, to anything to your skin or something, so you're all fine. And uh, then, so I'm going to open it, so when I open it, I'm going to put one of the labels in here, so I'm going to bring in my Big Shot. So I trimmed out this part, so enjoy the journey, and I'm going to die cut that with the stitching and uh, just put it in the card there and then you can use it for your travel journal or your scrapbook, what you make at the end of a trip. So put a little post-it note on there and then we're going to run it through. this away. See I'm not going to adhere this, I'm just going to put this in here so you can take it out whenever you come back and use it in your scrapbook. Um, that's it, so I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, I've suggested a couple of videos I think you enjoy and don't forget to download the free project sheet and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time!